YouTube, what's popping? We back again with another one. It's your boy Mixed by Malachi. Yo, this is the template that y'all been waiting for, my Logic Gang users. So it's here now. It's 10.7.9, the most updated Logic, I believe. So it's free. All you got to do is click the link in the description to get the download. You got to unlock it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit unlock. Boom. And it's yours to go. And you can go have fun with it. And, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive in and I'm gonna just show you guys everything that's on there, how you can use it. Yeah, it's your boy Mixed by Malachi. For my returning subscribers, thank you for rocking with me, staying tuned, keeping in contact. Man, I haven't touched the IG yet because I've been busy trying to make all these videos. Uh, Yeah, man, so it's your boy MBM. Let's dive over and let's get straight to the uh, template. All right, cool, 100. So, as y'all can see, man, I do have the effects off right now. I will turn them on so you guys can hear it. Um, let's turn them on. So you might get a change in sound. All right. Now, this is the change of sound. But what you want to do is you definitely want to, I'll turn it off. So you definitely want to make sure that your vocals is recorded in negative 12 dB so you can actually get the full blown sound of this template with the uh, actual preset. So, um, yeah, man, like I said, you got the API. Now, the thing about the API is I have mine set to uh, plus four, but you may have a different mic than me that may have a little bit of uh, top end on it that, you know, kind of boosted a little bit. So you might just want to turn it down to two. It all depends. Some people may have to go up to nine. It, like I said, uh, different, different mics. And um, let's turn that on. So that, you know, you'll get this sound right here. And then... Um, you got the GQ Classic, which rolls off uh, some of the uh, bad frequencies in a verse, which is good. I love this. I love this compressor. It's I mean, compressor. I love this EQ. It's super dope. Uh, once you learn it, it's like, man, it's super simple. Um, and then we got the SSL, far as taking out some of the noise in your background, which helps a whole lot. Now, if it's too much for you, all you got to do is dial the... Uh, range down if you want to but if you need more you can actually dial it up you know what i'm saying so it'll actually remove the noise from your background and the good thing about it like i said on the other templates you can actually once you're rapping you won't hear the uh you know it kind of takes the breaths away a little bit but you won't hear how it cuts off so that wouldn't become an issue but me i like to keep it around 10 and the threshold around 19 to 20 so that'd be good for you and um Turn off analog, and then we keep it pushing from there. And then I have the R compressor for you, so this is, like, pretty much crushed a little bit. But, like I said, if it's too much for you, you can dial it back to about 33. But, like I said, man, these are all, like, um, everything I'm setting right now is in, like, a, it's like a sweet spot. So, and the good part about this is I added a um, parallel compressor as well. So, if you do use this, you want to turn this up to 20, negative 20. Let's bring that down. I don't have it on yet, but I'll show you. So I believe that is bus five, right? Okay, so this is bus five. This is the parallel compression. Like I said, turn it to 20, and then I have the VCA, so the classic VCA. So we got your ratio around 16 to 1. Um, threshold like anything you just want to make sure you're pushing past negative 10 now if you're pushing past negative 20 this range is perfectly fine but if you see it going over negative 20 you're going to want to dial the threshold back a little bit and um, pretty much these are the tips and tricks i'm giving you so when you get the recording you get the mixing things that become a little bit easier to you like i said later on in the tutorials i'll show you excuse me what compression is and how to use it and um if you want you can turn the distortion up to soft maybe hard um i really don't i really leave it on off because we already using a compressor as well so that's pretty cool right there if you want to use that you can it kind of squashes your vocals a little bit more just to <clears throat> so you can hear that reverb more and you can hear that delay a lot better so let's turn that off and then i got the veq to kind of throw a little bit of um eq on you as well so like I said, we already got the API going, so you can just dial this back a little bit. It all depends on your mic. So you may need this, you may you may not. Um, we got that. Then a de to kind of take away some of those syllables, like the T's and stuff like that. But like I said, if it's too much, 
just make sure you're hitting around negative six. You know, you push since, see how that's going way down there? That's too high. So just dial it back a little bit. You know, like I've said, I like it around negative six and stuff like that just to take away some of the syllables. And um, you got the limiter that'll kind of give you a little boost in your vocals to uh, push you over that track a little bit more. Man, it's super dope, man. And um, you got your delay, your reverb. This is your reverb. Now, if it's too much, you can dial it down. But it sound like this now because we don't have any vocals over it. I mean, we don't have a beat going. And um, just remember, when you are mixing your beat, just make sure that um, that you don't add so much uh, reverb on your uh, percussion and stuff like that, well as your snares, your hi-hats, and stuff like that. So you won't be battling with the reverb from your vocals. So you can dial that back if need be. And then as far as the, the, uh, the delay, I got a quarter note. So we have 120. Like I said, I like to use a half note sometimes depending on where uh, my BPM is. So, man, and then with the filters, I do not touch this because I feel like it takes away from the delay. And like I said, with this being the way it is, it's gonna push you over the beat. You're gonna be able to hear the delay better. You're gonna be able to hear the reverb a lot better as well. And on the reverb, I do have a roll off of 500, I mean 5,000 to kind of, and I'm boosting you around here and a cutoff between 500, which is perfect. So you hear that reverb a lot better and we're using uh, Manny Reverb. Now, if you're an R&B singer and you wanna use Hall, you can go to Hall, you know, but rappers, I prefer plate, which is cool. So like I said, this is built for you to kind of like go around. And if you wanna add um, auto-tune, anything like that, you can. But like I said, those are more on my, advanced templates which i have over in, at, at, at etsy so yeah man this is pretty much what i got for you it's free man like i said all you got to do is just click the link below unlock it and it's yours to go i set you up with a pass meter so just make sure some uh, detection is on rms you don't want anything past negative 12 right here or negative 13 you want to keep it around this range when you're mixing man it's, it's so much to this mixing thing i'm gonna show you guys so don't trip but this is the template for you it's free Make sure you look in the, make sure you hit the link in the description. It's yours to go. Man, I appreciate y'all for tapping in with me. Man, I'm uh, I'm up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? We already been going on too long. I'm gone. Hey, 100, y'all. Have fun with this template. Let me know what you think about it. And this is the actual sound of it. So it sounds good, man. All right, let's go.